In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the user and the master bias passwords on most of these newer Toshiba satellite laptops. On the older ones, they were different as they had two jumper pads right underneath the RAM slot or right next to it. On these newer ones, they changed the location and labeling. And they do that because if someone steals this laptop, for example, they don't want people just to simply reset the bias password. So no, you cannot just remove the CMOS battery, short the contacts out and clear the password that way like on most older desktop computers, for example. These are a little bit different. I'll go ahead and show you the process of doing it. Now, no, I do not condone if you stole a laptop and trying to reset it, nor if you damage your laptop as a result, it's not my issue. It's at your own risk, pretty much. So let's go and proceed to the next part. So this is the screen you'll be faced with if you have a user and a master bias password on this. And in this case here, you will have to do this method. So I'm going to go ahead and set the wrong password. Try a no password. And it's going to shut down the system because obviously the password's incorrect. And no, you can't just go into BIOS and clear it out because there is a user and a master password on it. So you will have to disassemble the laptop. So now that it's off, close it up and you flip it upside down. You have to remove all the screws in the back. So I'm going to go and reposition the camera and I'll be right back with you once I get to there. Once you have your laptop turned around, your backside facing upwards, you're going to go and unplug your AC adapter. Then you're going to move the battery because we don't want no power going through this thing. So you're going to put that in the unlock position. Push this here and then you're going to move your battery. Now you do have to remove all these screws that's facing around. Make sure you move them all. And then you'll be able to remove the cover up that way. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll be right back with you once I get to that part. Once you get done removing all the visible screws that you see on the back side, including the one that holds the CD and DVD burner in, you're going to slide the CD and DVD burner straight out. And you go and put it aside. And then there's going to be one more screw that you have to remove that was hidden right under there. Once you remove the screw there, then you're just going to simply lift around here and you're going to lift the whole entire backside completely out. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you're just going to go ahead and slide it out like that. And then you'll be able to access your main board area. I go and put that aside there. Now usually I do recommend removing the hard drive. You don't have to. But you will have to remove this um, CMOS battery too as well. So we'll go ahead and just remove that straight out. Use your fingernail or you can use a tool. Just make sure you don't short out both these right under there. Use something plastic would be better to lift it out. Okay, so now go ahead and move to the area where you have to jumper in order to be able to clear the bias password out. Now going ahead and zooming up to the area where you actually go go ahead and need to jumper two pads. It's going to be located right in between where this RAM module is and where this RAM slot is. It's labeled B500. It's going to be right here. So you're going to have to short those two out. So what I normally like to do and I find it works best is just to go ahead and actually solder across those two pins. So that way you're not trying to hold it well. So I go ahead and take a piece of jumper here. And I'll just go ahead and Go straight across and then I'll use my diag cutters to go ahead and trim that out because we can always we we'll have to remove this later but and then there you go. And you're gonna go and solder across those that B five hundred, those two jumper pads right there. So then the next step that you would do is take your AC adapter, you're gonna go and plug it in while powering it up with the battery moved as well. And don't put the CMOS battery back in either. So we're going to get the AC adapter plugged into the wall. We're going to go ahead and put power to it. We're going to go to the laptop right here. Okay. Then we're just going to go ahead and attempt to turn it on. It's going to turn right back off and then do it one more time for safe measure. 
and then there you go that cleared out the password so now the next step you want to do is unplug of course the AC adapter and pretty much just remove that jumper that you put in place and then you can go and reinstall the CMOS battery and put everything back together and it should work so let's go and do that after you get done attempting to power on the laptop at least a couple of times and it turns off on you by itself then you can go and remove the jumper on B500 make sure you go and clean up any flux residue and stuff like that so you don't end up eating through traces and so forth you can reinstall your CMOS battery and your hard drive back in there make sure you got all your cables routed into the slot as they should be and then you can go and put your back cover on there you can either put all the screws back in because it should have removed it or you can go and test it before you go and put everything back together and then put all your screws in so I'm going to go and put the back cover back onto this thing and then we'll flip it on and see if the bias password is gone on this so after you get done putting your back cover at least a couple screws for the hinge area in the back you can go ahead and put the battery back in there, put power on there and turn it on and you should get a message like this that says RTC battery is too low, please enter the set date and time. So we're going to go and put enter and there you go, we're in the bias now. And if you are successful, it should say not register. In this case it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and power it on and just see if it boots up all the way. We're not going to go and do anything right now. I just want to go and make sure it boots. And there you go, she's booting up. Now it doesn't have a hard drive password. In some cases, some people set the hard drive password as well too. And in that case, that's a whole nother process. Because you do require a Linux machine and some command prompt to be able to remove the hard drive password on there. But I won't go into that in this video. But as you can see, the laptop does boot up all the way. So it was a success. And that's how you move the bias password on uh, most newer Toshiba satellite laptops.